We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I had my first child when I was 19. She's 11 now. She's into sports. She's sweet, kind, very polite. And Rockford's a great place to live because um, the people in the community are really kind to each other. Um, it's been a good place to work. At the Gunite plant, I, I took a lot of pride in pouring iron. It's a hard job, but I enjoyed it because I knew I gave my all every day and I took pride in it. I started out in the foundry as an iron pour. It is a very hot job. I sweated it out because I knew I wanted to be there. For the most part, you know that you're in a safe environment, a family environment. Rockford is a working town. I have uh, three sons, and I was blessed by God, and I married my soulmate. I know that I'm married to the person that I'm going to be with for the rest of my life, and that's a comforting thing. If a man doesn't have a job or an income, he has neither life nor liberty possibility for the pursuit of happiness. He merely exists. KKR uh, years ago came in, bought Acuride, and basically raped the company. Firing everybody left and right. They make you do two to three jobs so that they can get that payroll down to rock bottom. They take away health benefits, take away retirement benefits. They have not looked out for us in issues of health and safety. Prior to that, I, I felt like they would treat us as individual, you know, people. But um, since KKR came in, that's been shut down. They're bound and determined, it seems, to break the unions. We didn't get a chance to strike because the company locked us out. They care about one thing and one thing only, and that's the almighty dollar. We have to sit there the first two and a half years, get beat up because we didn't know too much about KKR. We, along with people from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Brilliant, Wisconsin, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, are facing uh, uh, these buyouts. I think they're uh, greedy, um, have no regard for anybody beneath them. Hey, this guy needs a couple of days off because he needs to go down to here because his mom's gonna die. You know, she's right on her deathbed. Is she dead yet? No, she's not dead yet. Well, she's not dead then, so go back to work. The Kravis Company uh, bought the firm for $500 million, putting down about 20%, borrowing the rest, and deducting the interest from its taxes. Then he stripped the firm, reduced jobs, cut wages, took $16 million worth of management fees, and when all the value had been sucked out of the company, he sold it. It was a great deal for Henry Kravis. It was a terrible deal for America. The people on the top, like Henry Kravitz, he wants two classes in America. Those that have it and those that don't. Because the those that don't we will be grappling around his table for whatever he pushes off that table. Guys like Henry Kravis, they come in and they're eliminating the middle class. They have no regard for working people. We um, grossed $355 million in the uh, first quarter. Okay, $355 million in the first quarter, but what did you give us? You didn't give the members, the workers, nothing. Well, we get a good quality product out the door, which uh, We've done for many, many years, so, and we take a lot of pride in that. Basically, we are the people that make him. He's running around in his private jet, living in his mansion, got his maid living in a room. She wouldn't be there if it weren't for people like me, you know? People going to work every day, working for 20 something dollars an hour. A true revolution of values will soon 
look uneasily on the glaring contrast of poverty and wealth. I hope Henry is uh, enjoying his uh, $51,000 an hour that he made. Uh, if I was working a 40 hour week, I wouldn't make that in a year. 51000 an hour? And I'm making 20 something an hour, you know? And I'm making too much money for what I do? And I'm happy with what I make. I'm not complaining about what I make, but uh, it's uh, outrageous what they make and they try to shaft us for more. Now the kicker in all of this is that Henry Kravis, who made that year about $50,000 an hour, paid less as a share of his income in taxes than the typical American worker. It makes common sense for us not to give tax deductions for people who are buying these firms, stripping them, and flipping them. There's no loopholes in the system for me to pay less than what I am supposed to pay. I go to work every day, I pay my taxes. This society has become, if you are of the privilege, that you are above the law. Because why? You stand near and dear to the people who are making the law. This corporate greed that is killing the American workers needs to stop right now. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. Right now, my, uh, my dream is, uh, is being able to retire with decent benefits, which years ago I'd say is feasible. My dream is just to uh, provide for my family, the immediate dreams, provide for my family, send my daughter to college. And those are my hopes and dreams for my, for my boys, to, to make sure that, uh, uh, that they have the opportunity to uh, live in this American dream that they see on TV every day that's so easily accessible to get. Elected officials uh, could wish they would do a better job because sometimes you gotta wonder if they know what the common man is even thinking anymore. If the people up on the hill are gonna continue to let these people pay their responsibility then we've got the wrong people sitting in those seats up there. We need to let them know where we stand. We want to look out for every man, woman, and child in this country. And that's probably the best way we're going to be able to do it, by going out there, marching, and letting Congress know how we feel. This is America's opportunity help bridge the gulf between the haves and the have-nots. The question is whether America will do it.